Hi Scorpio, <clears throat> welcome back. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Scorp uh, with Scorp placements in their chart. Make sure you are flipping and switch the roles. Take what resonates and what doesn't fit your situation, guys. Thank you all so much for your love, your support, your donations, and your um super thanks. The love never goes unnoticed, and I am returning that back to you all tenfold. Okay. Anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other um, social media platform, okay? So let's see what's going on, Scorps. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent upon Scorpio and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Scorpios. And protect me as I channel the messages for Scorpio. Let me just turn that fan on. It's hot in here. Call myself. I need to go fix that air conditioner. I mean, yeah. Let's see. What's going on for Scorps? Okay, it says going goes popping in and out. <clears throat> Temptation reverse. <laughs> doing too much at once. You be dealing with a Sagittarius, so you be on the cusp or Capricorn, Virgo. Spiritual work. Hmm. Some of you guys need to take a break here. You need to relax. Okay, we have male spine, bottom of the deck. Not seeing eye to eye, spinning, spinning the block for another chance, digging deep, research, investigation. Definitely Virgo energy. It's giving me Virgo energy. But, um, so there could be a, a, a male here that's watching you that you're not seeing eye to eye with, or there's a masculine that's watching you that's not seeing eye to eye with somebody else here that is, um, that they're trying to get rid of. <clears throat> somebody could be getting more into spirituality you could be you could be a reader here you could be a tarot reader or somebody there's a man here that's studying to row okay but somebody is no longer tempted with or by somebody that's trying to come in and out their life like somebody is no longer going to accept that kind of behavior just period ain't no coming in and out and I feel like if you were tempted to take this person back in the past and you did, I feel like you're not doing that shit no more. Just period. Somebody here, for some of you, your person could be in and out because they are releasing a karmic energy. Now, I don't feel like they're being in and out in a karmic way. I feel like if you, like, intuitively, you can tell your person could be going through something. So I would just suggest getting their space. Okay, but you know, it's your situation. You got to handle it how you want. And if you don't like that shit, then that ain't for you, right? But yeah, Knight of Pentacles. But what's the going goes popping in and out? The Eight of Pentacles reverse, Virgo energy. <laughs> There's Virgo. What's going goes with Eight of Pentacles reverse? Nine of Wands reverse, Sag Moon. <clears throat> so somebody is repetitively. Somebody is repetitively doing something here and it's not working. Somebody's at a stalemate. Nine of Wands reverse, Eight of Pentacles reverse. And somebody is also unprotected. Like they're doing a lot of shit that's not working. And they're not even protected from whatever the fuck this is they throwing out there. Whatever this is. Eight of Pentacles reverse. I feel like somebody's trying to cause you to stop focusing on something. But whoever this is, I feel like they're they're non-committal. And I just feel like you, you don't have any more fight left in you to deal with this kind of behavior or take this person back. Like, you don't got time for that shit. But somebody's definitely doing something repetitively and they're not getting any good feedback from it. Like, it's just a dead end that they're hitting. What's the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Or this is you. Two of Pentacles reverse and the judgment. 
For some of you, somebody's ghosting and coming in and out because of their finances. Or this could be somebody here. When things fall apart in their life, when everything is good and cool, they um they stay away. But when they need something, they come back. So I feel like you could be awakening to this here with the judgment. <laughs> Okay, something here is, is chaotic. Something is out of control, it's chaotic, and it's imbalanced. So some of you guys are be you're you're being tested here to see if you're gonna help this person or give them something. This karmic energy is what I'm getting. So you're being tested right now to see how you're gonna handle this chaos. That somebody's bringing in your way, bringing your way, or if you're gonna give this person some shit here that they don't deserve from you. Yeah, that's eight of pentacles. That's nine and ten. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Cause somebody's shit out of control. Yeah, the symptoms reverse. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Yeah. Whoever this is, some that shit out of control. They they should have spinning out of control. Yeah, the four wands. I feel like you ain't giving them shit. <laughs> you ain't giving this person nothing. They gonna have to figure it out. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles reverse. What's the nine of wands reverse? And the page of souls in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're not speaking to this person. You could be going no contact with someone. Six eleven is on the clock. You could be going no contact with someone here. Blocking them kind of, you know, because I just feel like you ain't got no time to be fighting with this person. They got a real bad chip on their shoulder. <clears throat> Someone could be trying to cause chaos and havoc here to cause you to feel distracted. Um, This could be in the form of like somebody saying real rude shit to you or like a sarcasm probably trying to be funny or cynical or this is could be like gossip or something like that they they do this sometimes like they do it when they are mad and then they that go back and hide when everything is okay with their life like so whoever this is is weird this could be someone at your job that picks on you just for the fuck of it when they day is bad they just want to pick on you and shit like that they weird as fuck like, what's the nine of wands reverse, page of swords reverse? Yep, ten of pentacles. So somebody's evil eyeing your ten of pentacles here. Whatever you're building, this is definitely a legacy, an empire. For sure. Somebody not getting some sort of information that they want or need at this time, like, and that's because they need to mind their business. They're not supposed to be getting no information. <clears throat> What's this page of swords right here in reverse? The King of Cups. Scorpio. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out if he's fake coughing or what he's doing. But, um... Somebody could be sending a tax to you here, Scorpio. If you're a Scorpio masculine, I mean, obviously, Scorpio feminine too. But somebody could be sending a tax to you here. You could be also welcoming in a new spirit, guide. So make sure you're watching out for signs and synchronicities and things about a particular guide coming to talk to you. This particular guide could be guiding you through your, um, to help you understand your gifts more or your talents. You could be an artist of some sort. Definitely, a, uh, this could be like a heart chakra awakening or something like that. Like somebody, somebody is saying nasty shit to you or sending you the evil eye so you can kind of like get out of this energy. 
the king of cups yeah king of pentacles you having a heart chakra awakening is going to actually bring a lot of success with your finances okay and i was trying to figure out where smoke was i didn't see my baby the moon Yeah, somebody don't want you to build this legacy. They want to keep popping in and out, and I feel like the answer is no. What's temptation reverse? It's like, bitch, please. The nine of cups here with the emperor. Pisces, Jupiter, we got Aries. What the hell he doing? Um, yeah, somebody here could be trying to tempt you with sex here, collective. If you're a man, for sure. I feel like I'm talking to a man. If you're a divine masculine, there could be somebody here that's trying to, uh, like, come on to you sexually to get some money out of you or to fuck on you to reattach their energy to yours. They want to have sex with you because your dangling is majestic <laughs> it's magic 11 22 in a timer somebody could be trying to do like some sort of sex magic on you okay they're trying to gain some sort of abundance from your sexual energy is what i'm getting what's the nine of cups yeah the five of swords reverse and the seven of cups reverse i feel like somebody's revengeful as fuck they mad as hell but I feel like wish fulfillment could be coming in for you. And this is good because you're not tempted to go backwards. You're not tempted. <clears throat> Seven of Cups in reverse is definitely like a missed opportunity or somebody trying to trap your ass. Whoever this is is very materialistic. But I feel like this person here is getting ready to be in for a root of awakening. <laughs> they ain't never seen you act like this before. And they're getting ready to see you for the first time not give a fuck about their ass just period for some of you guys you're definitely coming out of some sort of like um illusion or confusion here and you're coming out of the self-sabotaging energy as well with the five of souls reverse where there was a misunderstanding or miscommunication i feel like that's going to be cleared up too maybe with you and your guys or you and somebody in particular But that five of swords in reverse too is like admitting defeat or or having to accept defeat, walking away. Uh, what's the five of swords in reverse? Let me see. Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Yeah, somebody's being rejected, and I feel like you're so. There's this energy of like peace coming into your life because you're moving away from some sort of conflict. Somebody is being revengeful though, but I just feel like you don't. It's not bothering you at all. You're focusing on your work with the Knight of Pentacles or <clears throat> whatever this is you're doing. You're a lawyer, you're dedicated, and you have really good work ethic. So you, this shit that somebody doing ain't bothering you. Something that has been at a stalemate, you're working on getting it out of, like, coming out of some sort of stalemate. Now that you have a clear head, space. Something could have been stagnant, too, with your finances. I feel like you're getting ready to take action to clear that up. And this is all going to happen with you pulling back your energy and focusing on self-love, pampering yourself with the Nine of Cups. So I feel like it's a masculine here that's working on themselves, like, for real, for real. That's what this feels like. What's the Emperor? Okay, yeah, Ten of Cups reverse. So, yeah, divorce, a breakup, realizing that you and somebody just... Y'all don't see eye to eye. This could be like a broken family dynamic, obviously, if y'all have kids. Okay. <clears throat> somebody here in a fake-ass relationship or somebody here just doing something for looks. Like, they just... Somebody's like just a loser, really. They're a loser. Someone is really, really miserable. There could be a family secret coming out. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Page of Cups reverse. Page of Pentacles reverse. Mm. There could be something about a family member coming out here. What's the Ten of Cups reverse? Or somebody could be... 
Let's do the first reverse. I feel like I could be eating a Subway sandwich. <laughs> I'm, I'm hearing Quiznos too, Subway or Quiznos or something. So does uh, Death Card, Scorpio Energy, yeah. So, obviously, your your whole family could not want to let you go because your your energy, or this could be like your ex's family. Your ex's family only like you because you bring in money and you're a good father. They don't really fuck with you for real. They don't give a fuck about your ass. The only reason why they fuck with you is because they barely probably even care about the kids. There could be neglect and abuse going on in a home, like a whole bunch of other shit going on, a lot of dysfunction, arguing, messy shit going on here. And I feel like you're the rock of the family. And you're gone. <laughs> like you're not going to be there. You're gonna get your kids some some way, somehow you get in the fuck. Just period. Yeah, devil reverse to the Empress reverse. You don't know. I feel like this bur this person got all their family involved and all kind of dumbass shit. What the fuck is the uh what's this doing too much at once? I feel like somebody here stressed. Yes, yeah, this lady, yeah, the ace of pentacles reverse. This lady got hella paperwork on here. Sticky notes. Uh, she's stressed out about some sort of look. Look, look like it's bills. Bills. Ace of Pentacles reverse. What's doing too much at once with the Ace of Pentacles reverse? Somebody don't know how to manifest. Where are you? <laughs> the Empress reverse. Yeah, whoever this is, they lazy as fuck. They lazy. They don't want to heal so that way they can be the Empress upright. They want to keep using you and, 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 and all that. Like, no. Absolutely the fuck not. This person is fucking um, ungrateful. Very unappreciative. And they got low self-esteem. They need to really do some work on themselves. This is why they can't manifest no money. They're not attracting anything because they're low vibrational. What's the Empress reverse? <clears throat> yeah, four swords reverse. Yeah, and, and the crazy part about this is this person feel like they don't need no help. Somebody here, they feel like they don't need no counseling, no help. Could be a Libra or a Taurus or Virgo Capricorn. Somebody feel like they don't need no damn help, and they do. I feel like this could be you awakening to this person's behavior and how they are and who they are. I feel like somebody's restless as fuck. They restless, they overwhelmed. <laughs> What's the Empress reverse, four swords reverse? For some of you, somebody here is pregnant. They cheated and now they pregnant. And I feel like, like I said, that, for some of you, that could be the family secret. That this person, they cheated, they got pregnant. And now they stuck over there with a baby that probably the baby daddy, whoever they got, went off, ran off and got pregnant by. I don't want to fuck with them. And, but they want you to come and take care of their other children that they cheated on. They cheated on another person that had another baby by somebody else, but they want to come back and use you for your shit. Absolutely the fuck not. What's the what's the Empress in the reverse for so reverse? Hoes really be they be I don't know. Nice try though, bitch. Yeah, the King of Wands reverse. Five of Pentacles reverse. <clears throat> yeah. This person here, what they would do is drain you. You would be the king of wands in the reverse fucking with this person. Like, this person wouldn't let you... For some of you, this person wouldn't let you go nowhere. They wouldn't let you leave the house, go to the gym, go to the, go to damn work, or do any damn thing. Like, you couldn't take action here with the king of wands in reverse. I feel like you would feel drained a lot, but this person would be replenished. Like, their money would would be elevated when you have sex with them or give them some sort of, like, energy. Or something like that. Yeah, and you'll be left stuck in the four of pentacles and the hangman trying to figure out why the fuck you're penny pinching. Your creates everything will be blocked with you connecting to this damn Empress Reverse. Everything will be blocked here. For some of you, this this Empress Reverse is pregnant by a King of Wands in reverse. For some of you, this is like your brother, your best friend, or somebody like that. And they thought that this person was going to help them with their money. Child, this person sitting up here broke. Either with this King of Wands in reverse or, or not. <laughs> but either way, they sitting up here looking crazy as fuck. Or something. I don't know. But I feel like that's how you would be if you if you fuck with this person. 
you could have been having health problems as well because of so much stress and anxiety. Um, like you just wasn't in your true north. You wasn't in your purpose dealing with this damn person. You're never going to be dealing with them. Mm -hmm. They served their purpose already. Let's give me one of the King of Wands reverse. Yeah, Seven of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, I, I I don't know why I just feel like that's past energy. Like you not having no backbone or you not, you know, you being a people pleaser or you not um setting boundaries here. I feel like you would just give in whenever this person wants some shit or whatever the fuck this is. Some of you some of y'all was having reckless sex with this person. Mm-hmm. Child. What's the king of wands reverse seven wands reverse? Strong Leo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the seven of swords and the magician. Yeah, whoever this is, they will mas manifest off of you. I'm about to say masturbate. Okay, I don't know. But they they was um they will manifest off of you and, and take from you sexually, I feel like, to be honest. And then they will be the five of pentacles reverse. Why you sit up here and be broke and looking crazy and not being able to create and start your business, run your own damn business. You be so fucking drained because they will suck the life and the soul out of your dick. And I'm being honest. And you just be there looking crazy as fuck. Of course they can fuck good. Of course. Or um, shit. Some of y'all look. <laughs> okay, I'm not even gonna go there. But Virgo, Gemini, Energy, Aquarius, Moon. <clears throat> yeah, they would be, they would manifest off you and then run off and go probably share it with somebody else that they fucking on. This person ain't shit, really. <laughs> They're not shit. Now they sitting up here looking dumb as fuck. Yeah, big cheating energy. Or this is a man, same vice versa to you here, Divine Feminine. But what's the Ace of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, the Hermit. What's the Ace of Pentacles reverse Hermit? For some of you, this there, there's a man here that's with an Empress in the reverse. This King of Wands in the reverse is with the Empress in the reverse. And they're realizing that this person ain't helping them grow or not helping them with anything. You have detached and pulled your energy back. And they, uh, you disconnected from them spiritually, so they can't manifest off your energy. For some of you guys, if you're a woman, you wasn't even having sex with this King of Wands anymore. They just will masturbate to your energy or something like that. Or they have like items of yours, your draws, and all kind of crazy shit to manifest off your energy, child. <laughs> like insane. But um. Yeah, so this Eight of Cups is you seeing the bigger picture of this in the situation, and the Hermit is you doing the introspection. You're doing some sort of spiritual, um, you're gaining spiritual, and this is spiritual enlightenment here. Insight, clarity, soul searching. Yeah, I feel like this, the Hermit with the Eight of Cups is you ghosting the situation. <laughs> you're getting the fuck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody can't handle the shit. They don't. They can't. They can't handle whatever the fuck they. But that's what you bitches get for trying to live a life based on somebody else. Why the fuck you ain't got your own money, your own job, your own shit? That's crazy. What's spiritual work here? I just, I just feel like too. Even in the marriage, I'm not gonna be sitting around. Uh, I'm just, I can't do it. <laughs> like I don't know. I ain't never been like that. I gotta do something. And that's just naturally who I am. It's not oh, because I just won't accept. To, I won't accept being gifted or given to or letting a man pay all the bills and shit like that. That's cool. If that's what you want to do, that is fine. But honey, I need something to do. I clean. I feel like naturally, just as a woman, I clean. I cook. Like that's just natural. I need to do some other shit. Like I want to work. I want to make my own money. <laughs> like real shit. What spiritual work? All that taking care of me is cool. We can give each other shit. <laughs> I'm not, no. What's spiritual work here? Okay, the Five of Cups. What's spiritual work with the Five of Cups? The Nine of Pentacles reverse, child. Yeah. For some of you, this person here could be a spiritualist, but I feel like it's not working out for them because that's not their passion. That's not their path. Okay, for some of you divine masculines, your actual person could be a spiritualist or something like that. Or they're trying to get into spirituality because you could be spiritual or something to impress you to keep them around. But I feel like it's a no. 
Okay, like you know that this is something that they they're not doing. I feel like somebody is a scammer. They're a scam artist and they marry for money or they do shit just for money. They're very superficial and greedy. And this is why they're not getting anywhere with this kind of work because it's not their passion. What's the nine of reverse? For some of you, somebody has done some sort of um somebody has gotten some sort of uh they got some sort of spell work done to terminate a pregnancy. Somebody could be trying to get an abortion, but they don't have the money for it. So they could be resorting to spell work to get rid of a pregnancy or something. Child, yeah, the Hierophant. What's the Nine of Pentacles reverse Hierophant? Yeah, organization. And the Eight of Wands. Mm. somebody here overspends and they definitely live beyond their means some of you guys could be doing this and you need to stop doing it if that's you living beyond your means some of y'all getting ready to learn some sort of valuable lesson about this or oh, this is damn comic yeah the devil reversed though so that's good but i feel like that hierophant eight of wands is a masculine energy moving forward and stepping into their purpose as a high priest uh -huh. Or learn the lessons that they need. Somebody here is learning about these hoes. About these using hoes that they've been with. Especially just whoever this empress is in reverse. They false twin or something. Some of y'all could be getting good news from an organization. Uh, from court or I don't know about a job or something like that. But I feel like you're going into another spiritual contract and it's coming very quickly. You're moving into it very fast. What's the five of cups? There's a sudden shift or change. You've learned your lesson about this. So this person is caught off guard. <laughs> they, this person, they, they, they didn't expect you to leave them in the midst of them having so many bills, no money. Like they probably like, dad, you can leave me. When I had a couple hundred dollars in my pocket, you didn't let me. But I feel like this person was too busy, like I said, living off you. <laughs> now they ain't got no money. That's crazy. <laughs> like, I don't know what to say about that. That's stupid. That's real dumb. But So the shrimp car reverse. Yeah, somebody's in, in uh, they feel inadequate or insecure or struggling with their confidence here. Somebody's just sad. They're upset. What um let me see some <laughs> dirty photos, stressed over money issues. <laughs> I'm telling you, this person they trying to like get somebody attention or turn them on or something like that, like is a um <laughs> oh boy famous here mending a broken heart <laughs> We often take for granted the ones that are there for us the most. Yeah, making memories, toxic love were always on their phone. So yeah, I feel like, like I said in the beginning, somebody here, you could, for some of you with famous, you could be seen in the public eye, okay? This person is wanting to mend your heart because they could have been in and out. This person could have been in and out and they learning something here. This person is going through an, an awakening with the judgment by the King of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Definitely you and this person have a strong past lives together. And they're going through an awakening here and learning how to open their heart. 
Yeah, and I feel like they did take you for granted, this person. They took you for granted in the past when they were uh, having a hard time healing from this hoe. Or whatever. What's famous here? Could be dealing with a Libra. Or you could be on the cusp, Scorpio. Yeah, congrats. Yeah, lesson learned, celebration, and pillow talk. Michelle. <clears throat> yeah. Romantic gifts, working together, yeah. This is pillow talk. Oh, my ear itch. What's pillow talk here? I'm not feeling so well. <laughs> What's pillow talk? Always on my mind. Memory lane, old pics, memories, old text messages, the things you would say, and for the streets. Mm. Known to have a certain reputation. So the person here that's sitting up here pillow talking, yeah. the person that's sitting up here pillow talking is for the streets. They sleep with everybody pillow talking. This is like, what the fuck? What's mending a broken heart? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we got money blocks, a person or your mindset. Yeah, so somebody here had to heal. This could be what's causing somebody to, their finances to be blocked. Okay, then we got taking trips and not going anywhere. <laughs> somebody here could be coming to see you. Yeah, it was so in love. Somebody could be coming to see you here. And somebody's like, no, you're not going anywhere. Or spirit is like, no, you're not going anywhere until you um, are fully ready for it to come to go into some sort of commitment with you right um <clears throat> for some of you somebody here is used to living some certain kind of lifestyle like this person here was using this masculine's money to go on trips and take themselves out and buy all they bitches food and they go out and shit like that like that's the kind of bitch this is just raggedy and now they don't want you to go nowhere they don't want you to take no trip or whatever this is like or this person is saying yeah i'm not you're not going anywhere I feel like every time somebody try to leave somebody, they would probably do some sort of magic or they would do something to get somebody to come back. I don't know what the fuck they did. <clears throat> somebody, it was hard to get away from someone and then they was having money blockages too. Yeah, brick wall. <laughs> What's we take for granted? The ones that are there for us the most. Yeah, broke. Yeah, like... For some of you, this is karmic here that's like, you know, I'm ready to go take a trip. And Spirit is like, uh-uh, you're not going nowhere, honey bun. Your ass getting ready to be broke. <laughs> you getting ready to be broke. Because it's masculine or you, you're leaving. <clears throat> so we got points in the finger here. Betrayal reversed and justice is being served. Karma, court matters, family matters. Yeah, so there could be something going on in court here involving family. This could be family court. Okay. I feel like somebody here, this karmic here is pointing the finger probably at you, Divine Feminine, and saying that you did something or whatever the fuck this is. And you ain't betrayed this person. That's why betrayal is in the reverse. Okay, I'm also getting somebody could be trying to say certain things about you and your parenting in court so you won't see your kids. They're real petty. Real fucking petty here. What's pointing the finger? Peace and happiness, exactly. That's like the Ten of Cups and proposal. Yeah, they're trying to blame the shit on you. You and your, or your person, like, oh, they're the ones that did something or they're the ones you need to be looking at. They're the ones that did this and that to you and you ain't do shit to this person. It's this hoe. What the fuck is this betrayal reverse? In the feels. <laughs> What's betrayal reverse? Peace out, Yeah. <clears throat> So somebody's healing from a betrayal. I'm getting like the Ten of Swords reverse. So could be dealing with a Gemini Scorpio. I feel like um you're you're over this betrayal. Like it's not penetrating you. Baby fever, hiding true feelings, and P.S. I'm maturing in love. I love you. Uh, okay, damn. Somebody here want to have a baby with you. <laughs> this person could be wanting to start a family. What's justice is being served? You could be dealing with a Libra. Yeah, I said Libra, like a lot. Or a Cancer with this crab here. We got Moody. Somebody could be taking a Moody Cancer to court. 
being intentional and divine feminine. Yeah, somebody here. <laughs> somebody is <clears throat> going to court here. They're getting this shit handled. With this person, this crazy person that they got kids with or something like that, they're going to court, honey. And say, like, now that I know who my person is and I know where I fucked up at, I'm. this person is not worth leaving behind or losing. Baby mama, ex-wife of 20 years or not. I feel like this person don't give a fuck about none of that. Or this is you, Divine Feminine. Yeah, what else? Yeah, spoiled. Exactly. Spoiled. Looking in the mirror and not seeing eye to eye. <laughs> of course y'all not seeing eye to eye because somebody here is used to living a good life. They used to being spoiled. <clears throat> somebody getting ready to be forced to look in the mirror at themselves. And instead of them doing that, they're going to be sitting up here mad at you. Hopefully they, they take their ass to the mirror though. <laughs> or you are the mirror. What the fuck? What's spoiled? Yes, I'm maturing in love. I love you and social media junkie. <laughs> yeah, somebody learning a lesson about a gold digger. About being a people pleaser. About seeing themselves as worthless unless they have money. Somebody learning how to value themselves here. Even if they broke. I feel like this could be what you're teaching this person. Like, because I feel like they act cold towards you because they don't have any money. But I feel like that's not what you're looking for from the person. You're looking for a real true connection. You don't give a fuck what they got. You love them unconditionally. So you are understanding and you're not going to be like this bitch. The only time they come around is for money or dick or whatever. I feel like that's not what you're doing. Yeah, acting cold and hustling. Exactly. Busy with new opportunities, wanting to provide for you. Yeah, this person, I mean, I get it. Because whoever this is, they feel manly. So they, they work and they hustling. They getting to the bag because they want to be able to spoil you. I feel like they feel like they owe you that because it was sitting up here spoiling this bitch or whatever. And it didn't have to be, uh, I mean, it probably was, I don't know. But I feel like this person only did that shit because somebody here whines a lot. They whine, they do shit until they get their way. And it's like, okay, here, bitch, take the money. <laughs> get out of my face. I feel like that's the kind of vibe this person be on because somebody's annoying and they won't go away. So what's not seeing out of eye? Somebody here could be watching you on social media. They watch all your social medias. Oh, this is damn common. Yeah, you have ghosting. What's not seeing out of eye with ghosting? Star in their eyes. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Virgo. <clears throat> what social media junkie real quick, Spirit? Yeah, gold digger. Yes, yeah, this hoe online. Searching for more sugar daddies. And that's fine. Get your sugar daddy, bitch. But you won't be getting no sugar out this or no daddy out this damn masculine. They don't, they don't, you're not getting anything from this person. So go find somebody else. Go find somebody else. So while this person is trying to search online for this person or search and see what's going on between y'all two, I feel like this person is maturing in love. That they focusing on them damn selves. And spoiling probably themselves for once. What star in their eyes? For some of you. Love birds. Yeah, somebody's so in love with you. <laughs> somebody who really admires you. You could definitely be seen in the public eye with the star. Okay. You're very inspirational, motivational. This person was ghosting. Going to get milk. Say your goodbyes now. Say sorry. <laughs> yeah, they, this person is not saying out of this hoe. Yeah, because they ain't giving her no more money. Of course they not. Child, I bet you this person won't do that shit again, though. Girl gossip, endings, rejection, blocked, and someone's pregnant or wants a baby. That's what I'm saying. Somebody here wants a baby? Who? So in love. It's this person. For some of you, somebody wants to start a family with you. But I feel like this comic did try to trap this person too. Of course they did. They could already have a child. What else? We need to talk. Family values and morals. And struggle. Challenge. <clears throat> yeah.
yeah, opportunists, male spying, spending the block for another chance, passion, making memories, yeah. Family values and morals is giving me the lovers. Gemini energy again. So I feel like there could be a connection coming together. You and somebody are going to be talking. For some of you, this person wants to learn more about spirituality. Because they're struggling with something. They're struggling with overcoming an obstacle. This could be in regards to how they were raised, family values and morals. These challenges could be coming from a certain programming. What they were taught when they was a child and things like that. Or what they weren't taught, rather. What do we need to talk? Giving, yeah. And masculine evolving, yes. Giving and masculine evolving. Yep. What's family values and morals? Two-faced. Mm, what's family values and morals yeah somebody realizing that they family is two-faced or people around them ain't, ain't all that as cracked up as they whatever lifestyle they was living or whatever um belief system they had that shit ain't what it is <laughs> okay what's family values and morals and two-faced yeah not bothered exactly mm -hmm. somebody's unbothered they don't give a fuck yeah focusing on self <clears throat> What struggle and challenge? Struggle challenge. Toxic love or reverse? Okay, good. And unbalanced, yeah. Yeah. So somebody had a hard time getting rid of this toxic lover or clearing out some sort of um <laughs> sacral chakra energy or you know, just healing from this person. Like somebody was having a hard time healing from this person, they were stuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, forgiveness and expect the conversation. Cheating is crossed out. It said they are telling the truth. So this person is coming towards you in good energy. So don't be a bitch. Now, for some of you, I feel like if this was bad and you were talking about this using karmic, then that's the person that you could be, I guess, not you could be a bitch too, but I'm saying like that's the person that you don't want to come back. But for others of you, you actually... <clears throat> have a man here that has changed you know like honestly for those of us women that want real love we actually want a man it's rare that you get <clears throat> a man that's actually putting the work in the change like that's actually progressing so that's all i'm gonna say about that take that and do what you will <clears throat> But <clears throat> this was your reading, um, Scorps. I hope this um, resonated for you, okay? Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my reads, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.